Then, so, last topic, last, last Saturday, we managed to uh, get the data from our table, which is the student. We have all the, we have all the data here, and we, we managed to um, get it. And we can see our codes here from our retrieve.php. Okay, this is our codes. We create a table. Why? Because the the data from the uh, from the table is a table tabular uh, tabular tabulation form, tabular form. So we are using also table in here. And then this is this line is what we for the connection, and the this is the query. Select all from student, and this is now the result. But the result cannot be outputted directly because of too large, uh, diba? we have too much and or the the the, doc, the data is kuan, uh, uh, large to output it directly. So what will happen? Okay. So what will happen is to create a loop, a loop that runs to the, the the entire data because the data from the database is what we call a multi-dimensional array meaning this is a we have many arrays here this is one array second array and then the third array and these arrays are inside of an array so we call it a multi-dimensional array so to get it by an array we store it with this function MySQL fetch array. As you can see, you know, hindi kuwa by an array. Eh, nakabulo matang dako ka siya na data. And after that, we store it in a variable row. This row is now a array, an individual array. To get an individual array, just type the column name of the... Okay, so for example, this was student ID, last name, first name. What is the name of this array? That is the column name or the attribute. So you get you, you enter here the column name or the attribute name. Then, remember that you are inside of the loop. So, when the loop, the loop will all will, will end if all the records that we call it in the database is records, instance, tuple, there are many terms for the, for the data on the database. So, we will just call it a row. So, if there are three rows here, the loop will run for three times. Why? Because Iyama na siya ang hotdown ka ng rows dire. Okay. Ang loop doesn't run column. Di siya mo run in, in by column. But it will run it by rows. Kaya nga naman, gilop siya ni mo through arrays. And arrays is by column. Gilop siya ni mo through rows. Ano makarang di kayo siya. Di ka erong makalibo. Ay, sorry. Okay, then. Kapit na dinit. Then... But, if, but first, if we don't want to look if the data is, okay, we are going to show if the data is having the rows. The rows are greater than zero, meaning you have to look if the rows are greater than zero. If it is zero, if it is no record, if we have another output, which is no data found. Okay, this is what we have, we, are, we, da, we have uh, discussed last time. So now, we have a lacking part for the retrieve because in here, we, we, are, we just um, retrieve all the data. What if I will just retrieve a specific data? I will just retrieve uh, uh, 1111, for example, DDB, whatever. So we will going to create a form for this one. Okay, then, so uh, we will just... So up to update this code, but we have to create a new copy. So this is the file. We just copy and paste for this one, and um, I will name I uh, rename it to retrieve form that PHP. So similar lang man siya. We will just modify it for our specific. This one is for all the retrieving all data, and this one is for retrieving uh, specific data. So we have to end it with this one. We are now on the. Um, I will just close it. Uh, left. No. No. 
no 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 okay so this is now our retrieve form so when we are going to run it on the chrome instead of this one we will now type the form no? so the same again upon retrieve form spelling is Ah, wala aray, ah, wala yung, sorry ah. Wala yung, eh. no? Then, pag green dia, may error code ang notify na po ah. Ah, notify naman, ah, notify na siya. Why? Because of the file name. Na-change mo siya. Edit with notify na siya. Ayaw itong ESP, may ESP, masave dia po siya o. Saaw, saaw na. Okay, so, retrieve form. Arita sa Chrome. Okay, we have now the retrieve form at PHP. What we are going to do is to create an input box here to type a data where nasa tong is our uh, to ang i, i select and we have to create a button for to to search it. Okay, so where is the code? Okay, this one. In the top of the table, we have to type here input type uh, text is equal to the name will be a uh, search and we have here to close it. Importantira. To close it. Refresh. So we have now the form. Diba? When, when you type, for example, one uh, or D D D D D D D, it will just the D D D will just um, uh, stay, and the remaining is. Diba? Mamani kasi garang searching, diba? So we have to put placeholder for our form because it is very boring. So, uh, placeholder, placeholder, uh, search, uh, example here, then we have another one, we have to uh, input type, submit, a button, and uh, this button, okay, with the value, for example, a search, the name of this button is also uh, we can name it to search btn search button and I think it will okay it's done okay what is the name now save okay okay save and then refresh we have now this form so when you type here for example one two one search it will just read um, uh, only this row will return okay so we forgot something here we have to create a form before this one there is a form then that one so we have here the form so as a name siya. But in form we have two attributes, the method and action. First is the action. When you press the button, as a name siya e e ihapak. Okay, hindi pa pa page niya to process. So in this kind of scenario, we will just retrieve it. We will just put an action to itself for us. Yaran ka ogalingon. So ato na yung retrieve. Uh, form that we click. If I click ni mo dire sa search, dire naman siya kung saan page siya ang patubang. Diba? Yung, ang mawal, ang mailis lang naman is the data. So, it will just retrieve uh, form that page piece. And for now, we will use method for uh, later uh, when our form, for our create form, we use post. For now, we use get Para ma, ma inyo siyang ma, uh, ma compare good inyo ang duha. Uh, we have now method is equal to get. So this is now what we are going to do. Uh, to look up when you refresh that one, look at the URL. When you type here, uh, one to one, for example, search there is a uh, data transferred on the URL. This is good for searching because the data here is not um, confidential. So ayo lang, okay lang siya. Okay, so this data transferred on the URL will be the one na matuwa siya okay? select x equal sa query sa database so in here diba everything is fine we will just to update some code okay so where is 
as na tatapita siya also. So basically, in here is very maram na tanan. Kanipo na tay connection, kanipo na arap na tanan ang atorang Osborne is the query because the query is selecting only all. I mean, selecting the two them. So tanan good na record. So for now, we have to check. First is we are we're going to check if the button is click. We were going to perform the another query, but the button is that is doesn't click, meaning the query is stay with this query. Ano siya? Parang hindi mag-error ang ato ang page. For now, we will going to check the name of the submit. The name of that button is search that BTN. We will going to check if that button was clicked. Okay, so if Underscore get. Anong get naman? Okay, get man na to ang method. There is a form. But before using this one, I forgot. E-set. E-set meaning set. If na-set ba siya, if na-click ba siya, then underscore get. And then the name of the button. Okay. If na-click siya, so meaning there is another set of query here. If wala siya na-click, So just put here else in here and just okay. This is the regular query. So this is what we we will just we will remove the the data on the URL. If wala na siya click, okay, wala na siya, di ba? But if we click si Nemo, it haven't it has an error because wala na masay query. We will go into perform the query. Okay, so another query for that is this one. So we will just copy because it is it just the same query. Query variable is the same. It is the same. But in this in the in here we will going to add a little bit. Okay, for select all from student, we will just add aware. Okay, aware, and then what column we were going to select. For example, where database. Oh, so man, student ID ba? Oh, si mong bisibasianan for the word clause. Student ID ba, last name, or first name? Okay. First, we will just try first one column. We will try to student ID. Okay. Where student ID is equal to. So, meaning is equal to what value? That value, kanahin mong i-compare database, asa gikan? Dito sa form. Right? Nakuhanin mo. But for now, we will just... Stick with it. Mutang tag, mutang tag one to one. Wala pa taga depend dary sa tuang form. Okay, when we click that one, search ni mo ang one to one na yung i-return. Why is it one to one sir? Because the one to one is just we type it on the query. But if we don't, if we want to, if we want here that whatever data here will be, we will compare it to the student ID value. So we will going to get the data on this input and compare it to the where clause so to achieve that one in here we will get the value for this info text na search so you copy that name on this one you write here but uh for example a uh, search key is equal to variable underscore get and this is the okay search so whatever you type there You are going to change it instead of one to one. Type your search key. Mura kaas naman. I have to enter it. Na parang enter para maklaro tayo niya. Okay, so select all from student. We're still selecting all because the 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 stress here is not not really talking about all the rows, but it's so it is just talking about the all the columns. This one is we're going to select a specific rows. Iyang select on ang student rows, ang student ID is equal to search key. So we will save it, and now we will going to remove the URL. So when we type here, for example, one two one two search, so only the one two one two will will be shown. Example, kung tungo sa one two two, at one two. One to one search, one to one. Anything else beyond that one? Wala. 
Again, question. Salamat, ang ganda ng itsila. There are some cases. Question, guys. For the specific query, what what we did is just a little uh, upgrade of the script and upgrade for the form. But the entire query is the same, di ba? Kanila tong Yusuf is just this one. Any question? This is... Okay. Kung ganahan kang ibalik ko tanan, you just remove the URL. Okay, then this one. So, question? Kapag nandito, sir, if I move below, it's really love with the ID. Ayan, nag-iapag na process, it's just about the data na siya, automatically siya dahil na query na. Uh, because we are just concentrating on the student ID field. Uh, what if we were going to search it on last name and the first name? Um, some technique uh, um, for the programmer which is going going back mga 10 years uh, ago, ang ilang gibuhat there is they, they have a drop down box. A drop down box that selecting all the columns of the database. So what you type here for example, uh, student ID, then what is your search? Yung drop down dire, you get my idea. Drop down dire, the last name, the that one. So usually, muna lang gibuhat, by the way, after, to make it much more uh, realistically, muna lang gibuhat, select a drop down dude. Okay. For example, uh, student ID, <coughs> last name, whatever the field, for example, save. Mani lang ibuat sa una. Uh, usually sa una mani First name ka tayo kadira. Tayo last name na siya tayo kadira. So it will just depend on that one. So, inana siya, no? Sa una, kaman tayo move 10 years ago, that is the uh, the, the form. But now, the, the programming languages are also upgrading. So, we don't want the user to, to, to find what the data is, di ba? We don't want to do that. It is a very old way. So, we don't want to do that. So, what we are going to do right now is just we are going to select any any data in any column. Muna ito ang buhatan. And we were going to improve another one on our script here. Okay. So, on our uh, script here, remember the if-else statement. I uh, know. The, the gates, your logic gates. Diba? Kasi gana naman tayo. Naman tayo or gate or and gate. Diba? Sa ato ako na Every conditions, guys, in programming, we are, I, uh, you were just look over with the at the gate so sa probe sa disk structure mo no no so in here di ba sa if statement na tay condition if this condition will run through it will execute what about if there are two conditions so you are going to select if there are two conditions guys you have to select if either that is an or or an and mo na siya remember and must be all the condition must be true to make the to make the answer true but if or uh, only one condition, <coughs> basta matro kayo siya o sa kabuo, true na tanan. Mungan na siya. So here, this is what we call a condition. One condition siya. If you want to make another condition for this one, we will going to use it's either R or OR. Now, in our case here, what will be the best thing, best uh, option? We will going to use OR and we will going to use uh, or or and. Kanus aman ta mo gamit og or, kanus ta mo gamit og and. Kung mo gamit og and, kung tanang data, for example, 1 to 1 to 1, kung ngayon kang gamit og 1, ang 1 is, ang 1 to 1 na as the first ID, tapos yung sa last name, tapos yung sa first name. Muna yung gamit. To get the result, kinanglan, all of the three columns must have a, a, a 1 to 1. Muna siya, kung mo gamit ka og and. Pero kung imuha ang concept, 
it's either of the three na na ay parehas of data you were going to use or ana na siya yung logic ana kay imo ang logic ganahan ko na mo return ang data na parehas sa student ID parehas sa last name para sa first name use an but that the idea is not far realistic Kaya wala yung parehas of last name, first name, wala yung parehas ID. Ang kasagaran na yung ibulong ana aron, ang hita kang data, na bulong ni mo, na na-address ko yung ID, or na ba siya dari sa last name, or na ba siya dari sa middle name. So, we, the best thing we were going to implement is the OR. OR na siya. Okay. In programming, OR is represented with this symbol. And, and add is for this one, and for the programming is double ampersand. In OSQL, it's very easy because this is a syntax. It's very easy to learn because the OR is just OR. Ora gani siya. Importante lang kay para ka read of sentence. Okay, OR. So now, we have to do is OR another na pod na column. Another column or the attribute which is the last name. So kang So in here, last name is equal to search key. Ano ang search key man, sir? Mara man ay mong key may compare pero nalain lang siya of uh, column. Okay. So, ganahin ka another one, just use or. So, this now, we are now comparing how many columns? Okay. We are now comparing it with three columns. But, do not type or sa last, kay wala na kayo compare Remember that one. Okay? So, or, or. So, mo compare ka doon ka kung uh, three ko, ko conditions, there are only two or. So, we will try to do this one. For example, example, ang bulong ka diya, huwag na ito. Kung na ka ito, huwag na ito, di ba? Wala na ka. Okay. For example, ang bulong ka, huwag na ito. We will try to make much more nicer data. Kaya mo ragbati atong data mo ng number ng ITS 1266MC. We will go to the create. Where is the create form? And we will name, for example, 109.090368. For example, name ka dire Juan Pedro. Okay. Just insert another one. Uh, nine. Marcos Lucas Malakin Hodas Marcos Insert Ah, wala ito na usob Dito man Give the database, wala Eh, kaya nga dito man sale kay Sa primary key man ta Error dito Ang ano sa mga kita niyo ng primary key ko, na IQ dia, na color yellow, that is a primary key. Kung di ka, di ka matinti ko tinto, i-hover niyo mo mouse, ka primary na dito siya. Klaro na dito yung primary na. Okay? Because there are many keys there. We have, uh, we have asam turun, a classification of keys. Ay, I forgot. Adara asam turun. Uh, Nato diri, icon diri ng mga keys. So, browse ba to? Wala diri. Ano diri na yung mga icon sa keys? I don't know. Where is it? Uh, sige lang. Okay, na na siya. Na, na. Ah, dara, 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 dara. If there is, this is a primary key, unique, index, full text. Ano yung mga icon? Ano yung mga icon na nasa yung mga column po? Mas puta na. Ano yung mga keys? Okay? I know that one here. You know already that one for your database. So, in that case, the, the this one is not recorded because of the okay so we are now having a nicer data so nindot na natawan so if we were going to search marcos remember there are two marcos di ba marcos for last name marcos that first name so when you type marcos search you have now two rows Ano doon man, sir? Okay. E doon mo ka book, Marcos. Marcos na last name. Marcos na first name. Mano siya to, ah. But if you were going to use and that one, we cannot do. 
that one. Kaya nga naman, ang sabot niya, Marcos, na, na ay Marcos sa student ID, na po Marcos sa first name. So, any question? Uh, so, this is, this is for the, um, you are now, or how many columns do you have? If the, ganahan ka, pero kasi galang sa searching, guys, last name, first name, wala ganyan, middle name, ganyan. And the number, mora mo na, sa Facebook, comment time mo, na uh, pag-search inyo. Okay. How about, you know already, Mar? Then, wala yung gawas. Pero sa Facebook, when you type something, di ba, nakakas sa Facebook, when you, ita, naka, di ba, automatically, when you type something, di ba, because there is a JavaScript, ang JavaScript, maana ka nindot sa JavaScript, when you type something, there is now na event, when you type, na nasay mo, search, di ba, it is a, uh, a simple PHP program, you have to reload every request. But if you are going to embed a JavaScript here, a jQuery or a JavaScript, when you type something here, it will now process and it will give you a feedback directly like the Facebook search, the Google search that when you type there, there is a feedback for your searching, which is good for the user experience. Because nowadays, tapula na mga tao karon. mo no, when you write, if you are going to use application to, through the web, talagsin na lang reload. Especially Facebook guys, talagsin na lang reload of Facebook. Diba? Anong iyan ang gibuhat? Because if you reload something like one, remember that one, if mo reload ka, o gascroll ka pinaka, pinaka to mo, eh, pag reload yung mabay, ito ko sinugdanan. With the, Facebook doesn't uh, want that sig reload, kaya mo reload ka, balik kasi nakas sa news feed, mo reload yung nakay button na, diba? O nakay, for example, nakas in middle of, uh, middle of uh, scrolling your routine. Basically, routine na to, scroll ba? An ending scroll. Na trap na ka sa Facebook mo na. Then what if, no? What if na ay ni message ni mo? Diba? Then pag message ni mo, ni reload na po kay you have to buy the puga, message ka up ay ita pud ani. Usually ay you can encounter that one if you are not using a Facebook app for your cell phone. If your cell phone like me na I I, I install my Facebook uh, app so I use a browser. That is the type kapoy kaya ngayon na na ay mo message ni mo na mo reload siya ng bikes na yan. That is also my my koan. Hindi na siya kapoy. That is my way of not trapping myself to Facebook. Kaya may mo kung maglagot mo ko na mo sig reload. So, may mo maglagot na mo. That is the type na. Hindi na ko mo Facebook. Uh, okay. If you are just relying yourself. Sige ka Facebook rag yun. Tingala na kang upat ka oras kasi gas scroll. Di ba? And that is addiction already. So I am cutting my addiction for Facebook. Now all of you na may addiction na ako I tried to uh, uninstall my app para pag-reload. Kung reload, bubalik mas nung dahil na nalakita naman ka. Wala ito nakaog. Uh, so hindi nakapalong. Hindi okay. balik na. Sana siya. So now, what if I will just search more <coughs> and all the more Diba mo na yung kasagaran na to, no? So, okay. What we're going to do for that kind of we're searching? Remember, our query is equal. When we say to use equal, meaning, equal meaning, parehas get value. So, if you are going to adjust, if you want to search na similar lang, we won't use equal sign. And we were going to use like. Okay, delete like sa Facebook. Delete po ni like na naganahan ka sa katao. It is a like. What? Okay. Like meaning kaparihas. There may have meaning of like, di ba? At I like. A like ba? A like. Okay. So, in a person, for example, as a human being, we can have the same likes. Diba? Kananang pares ka pagkaon, kananang pares o kuan, mamao ta o ilong, mamao ta o buhok, mamao ta o color. That is for the person. How about the data? Sir, kung saan may nakapas ang data? Ang data is just a text or a number. Kung saan may nakalayaan ng doa? Ano na may like? So, okay mo lang tao ng data here. Kung saan may nakapas, imukhang like, Asa ni mo siya ibutang? 
to like. So, for example, if we type ka dire, 1, to like na, ano? Pero asa ni mo siya, edi, i-compare. I-compare ni mo sa data dire. Ah. Oh. But pag compare ni mo dira, asa da pita ni mo i-compare? Hindi siya di bukit, ha? Uh, asa da pita, okay. What I am talking about asa da pita is this one. When I type here, J, I know that our codes are having a query for every column. But in J, we have to be specific for the like because we have the wild card. We are just, a wild card is asa ka da pita mugulong. Because if this is the data, this is the data, you are going to compare your J to every data, asa mo da pita mo compare. Diri ba ka sa unahan? Diri ba ka sa ulahian? Uh, sometimes, we are, sometimes the searching will just automatically search it on the, diri sa pinakaunahan. Eh, kung saan mo yung bulong mo sa pinakaulahian? Unahan mo yun na, di ba? Una tayo. Na, for example, natin yung search, no? Kailan? Nakailangan na kaila-ila ro, no? Uh, Muto yung alan. Yung, ah, uh, yung, uh, example, si Juana. Alam po, mag-A ka so good. A, N, di ba? Dili, good. Wag una, yung J, for example. Okay. For example, si Juanilio, di ba? So, what happened? Wag una, yung ka, J. Okay. So, for that one, we have the like. We have to supply a wild card. When you see wild card, <coughs> asa ka da pita mo search sa iya sa south data. Sa unahan ba, sa ulayan. If we were going to use for the, sa unahan, the, in the beginning, we use this sign. It is a, uh, hindi maklaro. That is a percent sign. Percent sign na siya guys. And you are going to put the wild card sign after. Meaning for this one, you are now searching a data at the beginning of that data. Anong beginning siya na naman ka dire? Your meaning, pasabot ana, gitagpungan ni mo dyan na pita. Kaya ayun mong gisearch na dire sa unahan. Manon ko ang sa una. Baliktad na siya. If the wild card is put afterwards, meaning you are searching it at in the beginning. Baliktad niya. Una adiri ang nasa to ang ampersign, ano, ang ang dollars ano, percent sign ang imong gi-search sa wala. Muna inyo ang uh, password ani. Okay, for example, atong atong ibalik ka, we will now we will now going to change the equal sign to like that one. Equal. Okay, di mo tagal equal kay tibuok mo tala data. Nana tagal na ramang ginagmay ginagmay lang ba kay? Oh. Okay, sa so, na na. So when we refresh that one, ang mo type tao J. So search ka ni, gawas tum tana na J na una. Oh. Okay, katong equal sa ngay na. Kuan mento? As as uh, kuan mento as uh, one word mento. Diba? Kamante mo sa una, pasensyo nga lang kinasakto spelling ko rin kilain naman. Pataka naman laman. Hindi naman, hindi naman siya. O, ang importante ra. So, o, oh, diba? Automatic na. Makita na sa una kay Wala ko sa database. Kaya mo any number. Type di ka 1, 2, 3, 1. Yung, wala di ka dire. Kaya ang um, ilarang searching, ay di number lang. Diba? The system is limited only for one particular karon I-open na yun ang, ang, ang inana. I ilan na yung gi ang pag-searching is very easy na dito karon. Okay. That is what we call uh, using a like sign, using ampersign, aning wild card na naa sa um, 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 you are searching it at the beginning. If imo siyang balihon, if you put here, uh, right, uh, the wild card will be, uh, is placed on the left side, so you are searching on the right side. Now, our, our equation here, if we type here J, can we rec can we still get the 1 no. and mark who does? Because no. now we are now transferring it to the other side. When you see, it says it, 
There is no data because there is no J at the right side of the data. Last side mo na yan, hindi pa kung kuhan. Okay. Inana siya. So, what if, di ba? Pero, what if, tunga-tunga, sir? Anahan ko ka na na ID. Kanin ID, o? Ano yun, kanin ID? Sa awan aron? Di siya pwede dito, eh? Both sides, sir. Both sides. Okay. Both sides. Ano siya na? Nakaingon siya. Sakto. Nakatagunak po siya. Both sides. If you want to search it anywhere on the data, use the double wildcard. Both sides. Meaning, you can search it. So, bisagasa na siya dito. Okay. Bisagasa na siya. Kanina, may option. In the beginning lang or sa last karon, bisagasa na siya. So because of this double ampersand, a double percent sign. So what we do that one is when you type here, for example, D. So meaning tanang D mungawat, mga ID na na ID D D D D, yung mga ID na Pedro, D na Judas, yung nasa tonga, de ba? Oo, de ba sa tanan? Tanang na ay mga G O. Okay, sa tanang na ay G O, D O D T O, G O. So di na sa tanan. Okay, atong na ay GOA. So, one na na siya. So, depende sa inyong search letter, yara kung isa dito. So, bisag-asa na siya yung bulungon. The left side and the right side. Okay. So, basically, mo gini siya yung formulation of the search engine right now. Inani ang gigamit nila. Katong una na itong search engine, pinaka-lowest dito. Una, katong specific lang yun. Yung so, dapat equal sign, di ba? Karon, like. Uh, Isag-asa ka na column na yung line la, na like yung gamiton. Okay. So. Any question for the retrieve? Wala question for the retrieve? Wild card? Wildcard, yes, SQL. Dagan? SQL sa ulo na. Napot siya sa... Okay. Usually, guys, if you go to w3schools.com, the PHP and my SQL are tied up together. Nagka-combine? Ah, combine siya. Na-separate, ano siya, no? Na-separate SQL, na tutorial, na-separate PHP tutorial. Along the way, sa PHP, na ito yung PHP advance. Di, ang PHP advance dito, na-tie up siya ang SQL na gikombine ng SQL to PHP. So, na tayo mga forms na. So, that is, pwede ka o in-nagri SQL of sa PHP. Nasa PHP na siya. Wildcard ni siya. Dagang line na. Ito yung klaseng wildcard na ay nalang yung mga signs. Pero usually, kanya ako na nabantayan pa. Ako na ako siya gamit. Okay? So, any question for the specific search? No question? Because we have to uh... You will go home early? Oh, pero ako naman nun ito, Pika. Okay, so because we have only one topic left. Ah, oh, one, two, two pa rin. Captain Billy. So, any question, wala na? Ah. Nope, you have to submit. <coughs> oh, retrieve. Because we have now create for create for for create for the create we have create for and create process for the retrieve the na idua ka book na retrieve all this one na tay retrieve na na tay retrieve na retrieve for this one lai to lai to ng activity lai po siya na activity na nilai na siya na for pero ay kabalay kani kay just depending on the retrieve gamay lang man ang ang changes ah pili ra ko ani sa tita Yes, wali. Ang akong bungkagon, kanina po na ay mga create process, ito ba mga, na ay mga S, na ay mga PHP file. Kaya kung akong bungkagon na HTML, hindi mo na mag-debug. Kaya mawar mo dyan na. So, inana lang. Dili. Ako may mingon. Na look for that file, create that PHP. The create process that PHP. Di ara ka po. Kaya dagdan mo ng file, naman. Ang horot na niya mong determine, determine. Oras, posik, posik ang oras. Diba? O sik ang oras. Okay? Question? 
Okay, I have to cut it the video.